For over 100 years, credit unions have lived by their founding credo, people helping people. They were established, after all, to take care of their fellow members by offering better service and lower costs than what's found at traditional banks. While they remain steadfast in this principle, much has changed in the credit union membership model and the way they conduct everyday business. It's a welcomed shift, one that is both inclusive and forward-thinking. When credit unions were first established, they were established for the sole purpose of providing low-cost financial services to a community. And credit unions became more occupational, where the credit union was serving a specific occupation, like the Navy or like a restaurant or like a hotel. Now credit unions are more geographical, so it goes beyond just the occupation employees, but anybody that lives or works within the geographical area assigned to the credit union by the regulator. Credit unions are known for personalized service, having lower fees and rates on loans, while offering higher savings rates. But it almost seems too good to be true. So how do they accomplish this? How do they set themselves apart from big commercial banks? Credit unions are nonprofit cooperatives. And if you look at a bank, a bank has to pay stockholders first before they can pay their customer base. The bank has to pay taxes to the federal government. The federal government sees credit unions as being so viable that we don't have to pay taxes, nor do we have to pay stockholders. Uh, credit unions board of directors are volunteers. They come from the membership. They are elected by the membership. They are not paid, so they have ownership and their passion is greater on that side. So all the monies generated and profits by a credit union goes back into serving the membership. Lower costs, checking accounts and lower cost loans provides higher investment fees to your savings and your CDs and other types of investments. I think the growth of credit unions will continue because we serve the community. The decision making is within the community. The leadership is in the community from within the credit union industry itself. You want to know that your money is being taken care of, that somebody has your best interests at heart in serving you and providing you quality service, making sure that you get value for your dollar and that you're just not a number. Committed to the community since 1954, McCoy Federal Credit Union is available to all those living, working, studying, or worshiping in Central Florida. With 14 locations throughout the area, McCoy is an easily accessible and sensible choice for your financial needs. The team here is dedicated to helping you achieve your goals, whether it's in person, online, or on the go. And McCoy Federal Credit Union is a valued partner of the community, hosting over 350 events annually that support charitable causes, showing their neighbors that McCoy really does care. Our passion, our mission, our vision still ties into the community. You're seeing a younger population that are now becoming members of the credit union and they have different demands. And their demands are mostly mobile, internet, social media. And so we've invested a tremendous amount of money and resources in incorporating that need into our daily operations. So even though we may expand through technology, the basics we must still maintain, and that is providing a wide range of low-cost financial services to the community as a whole. To learn more about becoming a member, visit McCoyFCU.org or call the numbers on your screen.